So this is what happens when you don't move. You've got about a seven or eight acre homestead here. The man that owned it was about 93 years old. And there's just outbuilding after outbuilding after outbuilding. And he doesn't know what he has. Uh, you know, he, he would tell you, I'm sure he's got one of everything. But the new homeowner is now in a position where he has to single-handedly go through all this stuff and decide if there's any value to any, any of it. There's tons of beautiful old wood all over the place. Uh, it seems like every one of these little outbuildings is, is, is some version of a little man cave. Um, I'll, I'll kind of show you the shops and the different things that we've found as we've, we've looked the place over. So here's one of the old buildings here. Who knows what's in here. venture to say this guy lived through the depression and he remembers what it was like and therefore he never threw another thing away. Here's another one of the old workshops. Well, this is kind of a cool, I mean I'd love to have a little vice. We've got these ammo cans everywhere. He used them for you know, shelves and different things, they're just everywhere. That old battery, that's a cool old battery. More ammo cans, beautiful, we got a beautiful old set of cabinets. I'd love to have that old barber chair there. Get a 55 gallon drum full of red wheat, looks like. This old building, I can smell a skunk in here. More ammo cans. Looks like an airplane toilet, aircraft toilet. These old six panel doors are pretty cool. Again, you just you just got stuff for days. Up in the rafters, over the barn. You know, he doesn't even know what he has. And the sad part is nobody's going to appreciate it the way that he did. You know. Up there on top, there's probably 80 of those World War II whatever they are, World War I, World War II era um, ammo boxes. You've got some old apple crates back here from some farm around here. Yeah. Somebody got in here and busted a bunch of light bulbs. Neat old doors. He had a lot of really nice lumber stacked in here. He, he had tons and tons of old telephone poles. It's a beautiful creek running right through here. Tons of old wood. Think about the hours and hours somebody spent on a scroll saw. Just, and again, more firewood I'm guessing is what he would say.
you know, again, more wood that someday he would do something with. There's some really neat tongue and groove, old wainscoting, something like that. They're just as little bits of everything. There's not enough, in my opinion, to do a whole lot with. You've got the old fence posts that have been sitting out here for 30 years, rotting away, doing nothing. More apple boxes. Here's a really neat old root cellar. This is somewhat of a inspirational Can't see much, but it's quite a bit cooler in here. More and more and more wood. You know, rumor has it that people would come by and try and buy firewood from this <clears throat> the previous owner. And he would occasionally give stuff away, but supposedly he had a death grip on anything and everything that he has around here. It's really hard for him to give stuff up, and I can, I can somewhat understand that. He's got this beautiful little creek that runs through the property and he also has two different springs the springs again look at the backdrop this is some incredibly beautiful country To clear. I hope to develop something like this up on the top of my property. He's got the lower pond. This is a hoarder's paradise. Look at that beautiful old stove. Boy, that old hutch. Some pretty, pretty stuff. He's got another stove. Oh my goodness. This place just doesn't stop. Again, the new homeowner is going to try and repurpose and reuse whatever they can, but realistically, there's not a, a ton they can use. You know, part of me makes me sad when I see this stuff because there's so much effort. There's years and years of somebody's life here on this property and it's likely to be forgotten fairly quickly I don't know what the moral is in this story I could very easily see myself doing something similar to this it's hard to get rid of things at times 
But goodness, when I see stuff like this, it makes me realize that you can't keep everything. Coal. He's got coal. Boxes of coal. You know what? Do we, what do I do with that? There's nobody that has coal burning any coal burning stoves anymore around here. What's hilarious is the multi-million dollar home that's right up the hill here, right next door. I guess pe people have been trying to buy this piece of property from this, this man for years and he just recently realized he needed to sell it because of his age and his health. These are all full of diesel. You know, I, again, I'm guessing that this guy's life experience living through the Depression caused him to be prepared for whatever situation happened to come along. And I can completely relate to that. And so I don't know what's worse. Is it worse to be a hoarder like this and be prepared for any scenario that was likely to come along? Or is it better to get rid of stuff once in a while. Give it to me. So this is an addition to the original homestead. The, the original homestead is actually a little 25 by 30 um, building that everything else has been added to. So this wall here that you're seeing here, this is part of the original homestead wall. This room in here is the original homestead. The chairs. And they just added. They just added on and built around it as as the years went on. These chairs are killer. Was this stuff here? Or did, did did the new owners bring it in? This stuff is all here. So this room here is pretty much it. That's from it. it. I, um... huh, I wonder if there's any old pictures of the. This is cool.